Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of not even remotely fairest episode 1 on the Night and Difficulty. Alright, so here we have a brand new map pack called Not Even Remotely Fair, aka Nerf. And its name is derived from choosing the Nightmare difficulty, which always displays that this skill level isn't even remotely fair. And that's the whole gimmick. You must play a Nightmare or a, well, Nightmare or Bust. For instance, the first level here is impossible on night, um, difficulties that are not Nightmare. I'm gonna explain why in a moment. First, let's grab the best weapon you can have on Nightmare difficulty, the Chainsaw. And yeah, it's a complete joke on Nightmare of course, that's the whole joke of having a Chainsaw secret. Each map has one, so that's fun. And uh, yeah, there's a very cool sound replacement. Let's hear it again. Yeah, alright. So why is this map impossible on difficulties lower than Nightmare? Well, first of all, if you do not choose Nightmare uh, or Ultra Violence, this area fills up with cyber demons. So yeah, that uh, makes this map quite hard. And Nightmare difficulty yields double ammo. So grabbing that rocket launcher gave me four rockets instead of the usual two. But you must shoot those marble baron walls to blow up some barrels. As you can see, there's four of them. So if you teleport without shooting a rocket first, you telefrag a bunch of barrels and you freaking die. So if you only have two rockets, you cannot beat this map. But the nightmare you have four, so then you can. And... Another unusual thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go for 100% of the items because that's an extra challenge you can do. So here we have some health bonuses. Let's go pick them up, press the switch. And yeah, we're done. So let's go exit. That's map one. It's a bit of an introdu um, introduction level, nothing really difficult, but it shows that if you do not choose Nightmare, you're not going to pass. And uh, for those with a keen eye, yes, I did die at the end. Uh, each map kills you at the end, pretty much, to enforce a pistol start for the next map. So yeah, four rockets by Peter Lawrence. Cool introduction. Let's go to map two. All right, here we have map two. This is the first proper map, and as you can see, I already got decimated. Man, those hit scanners are—they hit really heavy on Nightmare. It's uh, hard to believe sometimes. Anyway. We have a new enemy here, the Silva Gunner. They behave exactly the same as Chain Gunners, same health, same speed. The only difference is that they do not drop Chain Guns. And they do not for a reason, because Chain Guns are really powerful in Nightmare. Especially against those damn pinkies, look how fast they go. Anyway, we're going to supercharge and the armor bonuses, because we're going for all the items and all the secrets. And the secret... Oh, okay, Berserk Secret is over here. It's of course the Chainsaw. Like I said, each map has one. Then it's this Archfall left. Grab the red key, run away. And we have all the keys. Now we've got to exit. I don't think I pressed the switch to open the gate, so I have to go all around the enemies. Alright, we can do this. I missed the switch, but that's okay. Let's go press this one first. Then... Go, go, go. Press the switch. They're infighting. Perfect. Alright. That was uh, quite rough. But again, a very short map. Nothing uh, too difficult. I could also... Yeah. Almost an introduction level as well. Like, here you go. Your first proper nightmare level. It's really short. So just do it fast and uh, the pain will be over. Next map, however, is a bit tricky, so uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, map 3. This one is really pretty. Just like the MIDI, but it can also be a bit intimidating for uh, first playthroughs, because this map is a lot bigger than the first two, and also quite open. And open maps on Nightmare are intimidating because you don't really have the time to explore at your own pace, because of course enemies respawn. Everything once you're dead. All 
right, let's kill the Saibi there. And there's also a switch that you can shoot. Right over there. This opens up the first secret. A Mega Sphere, very much needed. Thank you. And since we're going for all the items, let's grab the Supercharge. And yeah, let's just run. Keep running, because it's going to be pink is behind us. And then there's a shootable switch right there. Opens up the energy cell pack here. 200 cells on item difficulty that pack gives you. So, uh, very nice. Snankybus, gonna use him as a meat shield, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Uh, grab the supercharge because items killed the revenant because annoying. Alright, blue key, let's keep moving. I'm gonna play a lot faster than uh, I usually do, so I hope you can keep up. But uh, you can't really take your time on Nightmare. So yeah, three secrets. Let's just keep running. Go to the blue door. Which is right around here. Kill some impies. Kill this pain elemental. Switch to the BFG to deal with these pesky chain gunners and archfall. Yeah, very pretty midis. I'm gonna get zapped. Very pretty midis, and uh, I contributed to one midi to this map pack. Well, technically two. One of them is a cover or a remixed version of a very old song that I have made in 2014, I think. But yeah, it's a lot of hip hop and R&B style um, tracks in this map pack. It's really unusual for Doom, but it really fits. Oh, and this is a new enemy, the Tyrant. It's a Cyberdim with a uh, thousand health. And it triggers the keen death state. So it opens up doors with tag 666. And there we go, that's map 3. Beautiful map. One of the best looking ones in my opinion, really digging the vibe. So yeah, so far so good. Um, the real difficulty spike starts around map... I would say seven, yeah. But yeah, this um, map pack is ordered in difficulty, so the further you go, the more difficult it gets. So uh, let's continue. All right, right at the start, we have a shootable switch. So shoot it, it's gonna unlock that rocket launcher. Let's also press this switch, which unlocks a teleporter to that Kaka Demon room. But first, let's go grab the rocket launcher and deal with all these imps. Oh, huh, perfect. Okay, this is damaging floor, so you may want to run. And now we can deal with these kakos, which we do want dead. Because we're going to teleport into that room. And having kakos here makes it kind of tricky, but dead. And everything's fine. Alright, and that switch that I just pressed opens up this chainsaw, the obligatory chainsaw secret. And yeah, let's just move on to the next area now. But first, let's get rid of these pesky shotgunners. I'm also gonna harm this revenant a bit. Maybe even kill. Yeah. Often harming is better than killing. On nightmare my difficulty, because... You want to kill an obstacle as fast as you can. And if they had full health, um, it's of course difficult. But if they're dead, you risk getting the enemy to uh, respawn. Anyway, I need to go in here for the items. So I have to redo this part now. That's part of the extra challenge. But uh, this area isn't too bad. It's... Uh, Clearly inspired by Doom 2's map 9. This pink is made be trouble though. Oh, okay. That was a close call. Anyway, this is the pacifist section. Do not fire your gun or the spider mouse man's gonna wake up. So you have to deal with these barons here, pacifist style. Kind of tricky, but uh, you can lure them away from this room. You can just grab the supercharge and berserk. 
Press this switch to lower the lift. And I'm kind of forced to shoot now, but that's okay. I'm gonna take the teleport anyway, so... There we go, okay. Okay, now I want the spider mouse to in fights, so... Grabbing the BFG lowers this wall, reveals a bunch of imps, and also Mankibai. And hopefully, the Mankibai hit Spider Mama. Yeah, I heard uh, the little R uh, that she got hit. Okay, now prepare the BFG, drop the blue key, run, run, run. BFG, the Mankibai. Fire a shot. Deal with all the pinkies and crush the manky by. Shoot this exit switch. Grab all the items and yeah, we're good. That's map four. So yeah, in the pits, like I said, clearly inspired by Doom 2's map nine, which in my opinion is one of the hardest maps to uh, beat on nightmare difficulty, especially if going for all the secrets. So yeah, it's cool that. Uh, it got used as a base, especially that room with the lifts. That's really cool. And uh, I like the unique section with the past Fist Spider Mastermind. Uh, kind of changes the pace and uh, it's enjoyable. All right, map five is next. By the way, something I forgot to show off is uh, pressing the F1 key. It shows tips with tip number one, just don't die Lamal. And two, don't under, uh, don't overestimate the responding capabilities of monsters, which means um, just kill stuff. Don't worry about them respawning. It uh, it may save you killing them. Don't have the mentality that enemies will respawn and that you're wasting ammo. No, 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 no. It's not how this works. All right, this is Dwarves' map. And the other tips are. Um, I forgot the third one, but the fourth one is uh, if you want to go for an extra challenge. Go for all the secrets and items, yada yada yada. Okay, uh, I need to deal with an archer jump here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna press this switch, opens up a secrets which I will use for later. And now I want this archer to get hit by fireballs. Okay, perfect. Now I can run around to grab some ammo. And I will kill the Archfall before it kills the Mancubus and then targets me. Alright, now I can safely move on. And we have a blue key, but we need to uh, backtrack to open the door. So back to the beginning we go, deal with the Silver Gunners. Deal with this horrible section with a lot of enemies sniping you and a very pesky spectre that will catch your rockets so that's why I'm using the chains, uh, chain gun and I uh, know that Megastar was not a secret but um, gotta go for all the items remember and a Megastar is always nice to have okay let's get out of here we have the yellow key now oh I shouldn't have done that I forgot there's a secret there I have to redo this real quick because we have the chainsaw secret, of course. Alright, let's uh, quickly move on. Oh, Christ, I didn't expect that many. Okay, Archfall resurrected, that's uh, not good, but uh, he is dead. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, yes. Alright, I want to go for this secret here. Kill some of these guys. So I'm gonna take the lift in peace. Thank you. Archie, don't respawn, please. Alright. With the yellow key, we can open up this door, deal with this spider mouse mine, just run like a telefragger. Grab the red key, pre-fire some rockets into that wall. And now to locate the exit, which is, again, back at the start. Archfall didn't respawn, perfect. That means we can just go and exit. So that was do it again. Um, yeah, 
made by Dwarves and uh, the detailing was done by Benji, who was really good at that at uh, detailing by the way. So yeah, do it again. Um, yeah, I like the revisiting of the beginning area because you're always afraid of that one arch fall being respawned and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it has some interesting fights that are quite fun. So map six, that one is uh, quite special. So stay tuned for that one. All right, so all the maps so far have been quite fast-paced and hectic. Now this one. I can take a bit slow, because it's very um, exploration heavy, so I can relax a bit. It's still a fairly tough map if you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, thank you for investing in this fine mansion. Unfortunately, this place is under a deadly demonic curse that wants you dead. Have fun, smiley face. Oh, and uh, get ready for a lot of doom cute, so if you enjoyed stuff like going down, you're gonna love this map. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in this map that is really, really well done. And don't forget, this is still comp level 2. They are polite demons though, I promise. Are they? Let's find out. Oh yeah, oh, I should have turned that around so far. That door opens up in a really cool way. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Uh, we have some kind of janitor's closet, I think. With a berserk pack. And we can open up this drawer. Contains uh, some sheets of paper, as you can see. And we can explore the ventilation duct now. So let's see. Of a switch, opens up the door. And here's another secret. This is the upper shelf from the starting room. I didn't mean to fall down, but that's okay. Now, this room is quite interesting because of what's written on this uh, control panel. Security check at 5, which means when the timer in the bottom left hits 5, this door opens up for like 3 seconds and then closes again permanently. So we're gonna go back here before or right when the timer hits 5, so we gotta keep it in mind. In the meantime, Let's go explore the basements here, and, um, well... Yeah... Don't screenshot, please. Thank you. Alright, here we have an upgrade uh, station. We even have a welder's mask and gloss. Really cool. And also a torture chamber. That is not cool. So let's just deal with all the Hellnets here. Probably as fast as we can. Before they respawn, of course. Alright, uh, Mega Armor. Uh, press the switch to review another switch over here. Also, I just want to admire this. The pendulum here, or the pendulums. Pendula? Little torch chamber. Very cool. Okay, we need a red key for that, so let's just. Skip that for now. Keep uh, keep an eye on the timer though. In two minutes we gotta go back. But in the meantime, we have time to deal with the tyrants. So let's do that. We have some tyrants in this room. So let's not wake them up yet. Okay. Megasphere, plasma rifle. And when I fire a shot, that's gonna spawn the tyrant, so there he is. Only a thousand health, so it should go down fairly quickly. Now deal with this one. Kill them quickly before they respawn. And killing all three will open up the exits. Because like I said in F3, these are modified Commander Keens, so... Anything tagged with tag 666 will open up. Anyway, there's a lot of items here, so let's grab them. That's already 64 items. There's also some goodies in here. And there's more in the fireplace, but I'll go there later. First, I want to make sure I'm on time for um, the security check. 
Oh, I heard a Tyrant respawn. Alright, we gotta wait a bit. 20 seconds. Please bear with me. In the meantime, let's admire the uh, aesthetics here. Very beautiful map. And the media, of course, as well, really uh, fits with the strange, dreamy nature of this WAD. Alright, here we go. Two, one, open. Thank you. And yet, yeah, closes soon after that. So you only have one shot. It's pretty mean. Okay, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. Uh, this. This thing here. Supercharge. And I also need the uh, red key. Totally forgot about the red key. Oh, there's also a bathroom with a very cool carpet here. Let's use mouse look again. Yeah, look at that. Doom cute and a fire blue bath with more goodies in it. And a mirror, look at that. <laughs> and a toilet that we can flush. For, of course, obligatory chainsaw. And a portrait of Hitler covered in poo. <laughs> Which is also a secret. You may think, why is this a secret? Well, because of this. Now you can hide in the bathroom while you deal with the revenants. Ah, uh, yeah, the kitchen. With yummy meat and fish. Look at that. Leave me alone. I wanna... Okay, screw this. Let's crush the... Oh, why did you respawn? You're the worst enemy to respawn here. Okay. I just wanna admire the yummies here. We cooked a lot of sauce. We have some slices of ham. And yeah, the fish. I hope you saw that. Anyway, what are we missing? Uh, we're missing... Oh yeah, the Megasphere in this room. Gotta shoot away the teeth here. Somehow get on the... Come on, get on the chair. Yeah, there we go. And we have a plasma rifle, so let's go and upgrade it. I'm curious what that means. Well, check this out. So I'm gonna place the plasma rifle here. Oop. See, that's my plasma rifle. Now I can go into this weird dimension where Lost Souls are playing poker. And there we go. We have upgraded the plasma to a BFG. Now there's only one encounter left, which involves uh, ghost enemies. In any situation, don't take the idol, and don't disturb the spirits. Well, screw you. I'm gonna disturb them, that's gonna create ghost specters. It can uh, an actual resurrected ghostly uh, crushed specter corpses. So now there are specters in the map that can walk through walls. And not just ordinary specters, these are fast specters because of Nightmare difficulty, of course. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. Whew. Yeah, that final um, encounter is quite scary. Those doors take a long time to open. Thank you for visiting. Now please never come back. Smiley face. Fine. I won't. Yeah, this is definitely the most eye-catching map in the entire map pack. So much stuff to look at, so many cute little details and secrets. I absolutely love it. And also uh, one of the longer maps in the map set. Mostly, most maps are mostly like um, three to four minutes long if you kind of hurry up and go for all the items and secrets. But this one, you kind of forced to wait those five minutes for uh, all the secrets. But I don't mind, it's uh, not as hectic as the previous maps, but still very enjoyable. All right, map seven. But first, we have an intermission screen.
the very interesting choice of music. Well, this is just the normal text screen found in Doom 2, so... Oh, wait a minute. We've all heard this bollocks before. Anyway, here's a tip for the next map. If you want to make progress, find a way to kill all three Menkibai. Good luck, and remember to not die. Alright. Map 7, here we go. Alright, here we have map 7. This is the big boy. This is the largest map in the map pack. And also more experimental map than the others. Um, which in return makes this a bit of a confusing experience for first timers especially. And also probably for watching me play this, so I hope you can follow along. Because I cannot really take it slow because, well, responding enemies and stuff. But the gist is, is there are three areas, so here is one area uh, with the green goo. This one holds the yellow key and you need all three colored keys, which unlocks a tower in the center of the map. And with that tower you can get to the same level as three Mankibai, and killing three Mankibai unlocks the uh, final area, because um, this map occupies uh, slot 7 which has all the dead simple mechanics going on in the background. But yeah, the Mankiba are normally unreachable through auto-aim or whatever. So, we gotta get through that level. Or you can get them killed through infighting, but they're gonna respawn and you kinda need to kill them all quickly. Okay. So there's the yellow key, very easy to get, and down here you also get Invon, very nice to have, with a very cool fire blue filter. But yeah, we just need to... Um, um, just quickly move on. This area has a lot of chain on us, so that's why I grabbed the uh, Invon for this part. So I don't take any chip damage from all the chain on carnage going on. Kill the Revenants, interact with the Vomiting Gargoyle. This lowers the wall, and then we can grab the supercharge, which is also a secret. Cross this gap for the switch that lowers the red key. And then we just drop down here for yet another secret mega armor. And a very obscure health bonus here, which we need for all the items. And pressing the yellow switch unlocks the rocket launcher. So let's go grab that. It's much needed. Especially for killing Mankibai later on. And this stupid texture holds a secret. The obligatory secret chainsaw, of course. Alright, now for the next area. Probably the toughest area, in my opinion. The blue key area. You gotta be really quick here. There's a lot of inescapable pits, so... You cannot take your sweet time. You gotta press this switch. You gotta run like hell. Catch the lift. And just run, run, run. Careful where you jump. Keep running, keep running. Press this switch, and that um, locks up the sniping revenant, which is a godsend. Okay, now grabbing the blue key also lowers this non secret megasphere, which we need, of course, for items. Okay, cut the lift again. So far, so good. Let's get out of here. And got the Berserk, because once again, items. Okay, so we have all the keys. Now we need to press the switches. So we need to press the red switch. And the blue switch, wherever it is. I kind of forgot. It's not here. I think it's at the plasma. Is it? No, it's here. It's right there, with the BFG. The BFG that you cannot obtain until... Literally, the exit. When you reach the exit, you get the BFG. Um, okay, so we have... We pressed all the switches, so that means the tower is now unlocked. But also, the plasma gets unlocked, which is nice to have. Alright. Now we gotta hunt down some items still. 
That is... Let me think... Uh, yeah, the Secret Megasphere. There's also a hidden armor bonus in this fountain. Which you can obtain like from jumping uh, jumping from here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now the tricky bit. Killing the Nankibai. Because there's going to be enemies attacking us from uh, all over the map. Okay, there's a Mechimus. One, two, three, four. Oh, the Cacodemons. Okay, I think I killed at least one Mechimus. There's another one. That's four rockets. And hopefully that's enough as well. The only way to find out is to see if the wall's lower. Yep, got him. Cool. We killed the Mechimus. Perfect. Now we gotta grab the Megasphere. That's the final secret and also the final item. The other three items are in the final area. Uh, let me think, is it here? No. Yeah, it's better if you just look uh, at the auto map for this. Yeah, there we go, final secret. Now for the final fight. This one also exploits the dead simple mechanic, but this time with the um, Arachnitron. So when you kill the Arachnitron, the floor in this area goes up by... I don't know... 24 units or something? Or 16? So there's only one Arachnitron in this map. So each time you kill it, the floor raises. And, well, it's Nightmare, so the Arachnitron is going to respawn. So, what you gotta do is kill this Rekatron like three times and you can get out. But yeah, easier said than done, because this stuff is happening. So, it's it's survival pretty much. You gotta survive long enough for the Rekatron to respawn. Um, respawn timer is minimum of 13 seconds. Maximum, in theory can take an infinite amount of time if RNG really hates you, but... Oh, that was really fast, holy crap. Okay, perfect, because now I can grab the invon. Okay, I hope the, sec the third one also uh, responds that fast. I kind of don't want to kill the Cyberman too fast. <gasps> holy crap, he respawned! That was so fast! Oh my god, the luck! Jesus Christ! Man, that was lucky! So yeah, taking this teleporter gives you the... Um, BFG. If you wanna, for some reason, kill stuff with the BFG. But I don't want to. Let's exit. Man, that was a really good time. Holy crap! That RNG at the end, that is godly. If you ever wanna speedrun this map, that's what you want at the end. Oh man! Christ, that was lucky. But yeah, that was the big boy. Uh, didn't take much longer than map 6, honestly, but... Um, map 6, you're kind of forced to play the map uh, at least 5 minutes to get all the items and secrets. But this one is just a behemoth and... Um, yeah, really cool map and a uh, cool media as well. It's actually a remix of an old media of mine from 2014, so... I appreciate that MIDI is still being used after all this time. But yeah, I really dig the aesthetics and the visuals, and uh, especially the um, experimental nature of the um, responding Rackentron being used like that. I've never seen that happen before. So yeah, very cool stuff. Map 8 is next. Alright, here we have another cool map. And this one is cool because it uses a MIDI I made, specifically for this project. And this map also has a lot of cool, but also quite strange uh, details going on. So first of all, this room has uh, checkers, um, strip poles, and a sandbox with a little sand castle, and also mini golf. Very cute, and a gargoyle that's vomits fire blue. And yeah, the sand castle you can actually trample. I know, I'm a horrible person. 
though please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> and uh, the backstage room. Uh, you can uh, interpret it this any way you want, but uh, it is um, quite, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, look, chainsaws, a lot of them. Okay, um, let's see. We gotta go through... Actually, no, let's heal up first. Oh, screw you. Alright. Big fight number one. Oh, we also got a shotgun. Yes, please. There's a very interesting fight coming up. Very interesting usage of a fast arch file. So... You're gonna have to wait for this uh, wall to lower. In the meantime, there's a bunch of imps trying to kill you. But you need to pay attention where the archer is while you're fighting off stuff. So yeah, very cool. Okay, got the blue key. Let's get out of here. Kind of running out of ammo. There's still Pinky to deal with. And of course, he takes three shots to kill. Let's get out of here. Alright, we have the blue key. And we get some shells, but uh, let's uh, open up this wall first. Yeah, those Lost Souls um, were there to occupy the 20 Lost Soul limits, or the 21 Lost Soul limit. Um, now pain elementals are dangerous. That's kind of... Mm. Yeah, it's not really a rewarding secret. Also, um, I forgot to mention that gargoyle that spit out fire blue. You need to interact with him to um, unlock a non-secret at the end. Also, like, this switch. It's also part of that secret, or a non-secret. Oh, I don't like those imps there. What I do like, however, is this fight. Look at that. Cyberdemon butts, hell yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shoot the tyrant. Because he, he damaged the pinkies. So now he's trying to infight me, but uh... He cannot, and look at that. Yeah, I shot him to make sure he doesn't infight the pinkies. And by doing so, they uh, ate the tyrant alive. Oh, I didn't mean to teleport. And to press this switch, that switch um, unlocks the plasma rifle to the starting room. So let's go back. Hopefully, the revenant didn't respawn. Ah, oh, he did. I'm out. Bye bye. Going back to the beginning because I'm on the grip the plasma. All right, we have the two chain gunners. All right, got the secret plasma. One area left, and then we can go to the exit. Also, don't shoot the sigil eyes. Um, the map punishes you for it. It kind of makes the map impossible to beat. You're going to have to see yourself uh, how that's done. Anyway, let's go explore the uh, the mines here. This is also a pretty cool area. With another secret. Final one. Missing one item, and that item is at the non-secret hidden area at the end when you interact with three hidden switches so i already pressed two one more to go and that's the yellow key area no big deal and let me see where's the hidden switch again yeah here so it's all three switches pressed this is the final area. This is uh, 
not too difficult. This is where the pain elemental appears, so... If you didn't crush all the lost souls, the pain elemental is going to be absolutely useless. But uh, the lost soul limit doesn't exist anymore now. So it's going to appear, I think, soon-ish. I think after you press the center switch... Yeah, there he is. See? Now I can spit out lost souls. Still alive? Okay, he's dead at least. Let's uh, press some more switches. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. This computer area map... Uh, becomes accessible when you press those three hidden switches and then you can see funny stuff like this emoji and some other inside jokes among the Doom community. So yeah. Cool stuff. What does this say? Oh, just a bunch of dummy sectors. Okay. Cool map. Made by three people. Uh, Anarchy this was Anarchy's first map, I believe, and then Xogonath and Christophine Place did all the details, so uh, nice collaboration, very cute map, and uh, very good MIDI, wink wink. Alright, next map. Alright, so we have a map 9. This one packs quite a punch. It's basically two rooms that you need to uh, get keys from, then you go to the uh, red and yellow key. Uh, door, go out, and you win. But yeah, let's go over here first, because we got a super shotgun. And also... a rocket launcher. Supercharge and yellow key. But now we gotta run like hell. Kill some of these pinkies that are gonna be in our way. Hey, look at that, perfect. And also get a mega armor, very nice. Also, I shouldn't forget about the obligatory chainsaw secrets. Uh, get a chain gun just in case, but I think I'm good with the rocket launcher to uh, deal with the zombie man. Okay, grab the plasma. Jump down for the red key, and now is the plasma's time to shine. Truly the war chorus weapon of Nightmare Difficulty. It stuns bigger enemies and you can just plasma your way through pretty much everything. Oh, I didn't grab enough plasma, but uh, that's fine. Oh, I'm still alive. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yep, I can make it. Yeah, as you can see... Very short map, and a bit, of, a bit of a breather, but it's still quite hectic and chaotic, as you could see at the end. I uh, nearly died there. But yeah, if you're fast and you have the plasma rifle, you can uh, conquer anything in uh, in Doom, so plasma's your best friend. Cool map. Next one is considered to be the most difficult one, so let's see how it goes. Alright, this is the toughest map of nerf, in my opinion. Because this one really makes you move. This one really tests your dancing skills. Like with these Hell Knights, you have to do like a dance. You have to super shotgun your way through them. Or at least through one. All while Cyberman is shooting you from the side. It's uh, You cannot take your time there. Because uh, eventually the pinkies will die that are absorbing the blasts for you. And then you're gonna have to dodge and Hell Knights and rockets. And this outdoor area, I kill these imps first so I can quickly press this hidden switch. That one opens up this little step, the fire blue step. And I'm just gonna run around a bit. Open up these walls to open uh, even more enemies. And I'm out of here. And I'm gonna force some infighting. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice secret area. Bonfire lit. Very aesthetic. And we have a cool secret here where you get a BFG. But, um... 
kind of need to two tap kill the cyber demon with the BFG or else uh, the pinkies uh, disappear the moment you grab the extra cells here and then you have two cyber from the sides trying to kill you and you still have to deal with this one because he's blocking the the exits so let's go two tap this cyber demon hopefully yep and still grab the pd ammo because i need cells uh -huh. and just get out of here and this is not looking too good you can break this map by the way by jumping into the cove for the green armor so you're not supposed to be there yet you need to have the you're supposed to have the blue key but i don't want to break the map i don't want to play it normally i mean the map authors are aware of the sequence breaking so yeah, let's just keep running grab this because why not and now with the blue key and we're also back at the beginning so that means we have to deal with the hell knight wall again now there's two extra but now we have a rocket launch so it becomes a bit easier okay Oh no, oh no, don't you dare. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I need to heal up. Plenty of health here, but still, I wish I didn't lose that mega armor. I still need to grab that supercharge. That supercharge is an absolute biatch to grab. Got it, nice. Okay, now I need to get past all these bastards. Ah, oh, crap. I need, I need, I need health. I'm not sure I'm gonna survive the next uh, fight, though. With no armor. It's gonna get tricky. Told you this map is difficult. No. Don't kill me. Okay. Yeah, no armor. That sucks. I should have uh, saved with mega armor. I was way too greedy there. But uh, let's try anyway. Just don't lose any health here, that'd be a waste. Just be good at dodging. Okay. Kill these guys too, because they're gonna be in the way. Prepare. Oh, there's armor here. Kill the Kakademons at least. No, I didn't. Oh crap, don't do that. Oh, the Kako survived. But, um, we're good. The hard bit is done. Here are all the items you need for 100% of the items. And let's quickly go over here. And I'm gonna grab the chain gun. I didn't attack the secrets. No, I did. Okay, deal with the arch for here. Yeah, opening up this secret wall gives you a nice little hiding spot. So that's nice. Uh, final secret is over here. Interact with the Baron texture and just get out. We have all the items. All the items and secrets. Let's go to the final area here. Deal with these two archies. One died, so I'm just gonna make a run for it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that one is tough. But, uh... I got it fairly quickly. Five minutes isn't too bad. My record is... Two minutes something, like two minutes twenty-seven. By doing the sequence breaking. And uh, I got uh, kudos from uh, Barak himself. So he approves. And uh, yeah, very cool map, and also his first map, can you believe that? The first map he's ever made, and it looks this good, and it plays this well. So yeah, very promising uh, newcomer in the world of Doom mapping. So up next is the episode finale, so uh, let's, go, uh, let's go check it out. Alright, here we have the final level. This is, uh, well, there's still the secret level and the credits map, but this is the finale of the first episode let's see how this goes we've got some pinkies coming from both sides we need to shoot that switch with the shotgunner 
We've got a bunch of floaty imps pelting us with fireballs, but thankfully it distracts the pinkies. And there's the doorman. Let's go for the secret red suit here so we can fight the pain elemental on the fire blue floor. Losing health quickly though. I think I need to uh, restock on health. Okay. Now, I also want the mega armor. And I'm gonna pray that we survive this shotgunner. Oh! Surprise party. Now, there is a berserk there. I'll use that to fully heal back to 100. Quickly drop down. It's gonna be an archer behind us, so let's get rid of the shotgunner. Quickly hide. Don't get punched. There we go, we have a really good stack. This is looking good. Oh, the Spectre's here. He responds. Get out of here. Okay. Red key. Let's get out. Grab the chain gun. There's a group of Spectres here. We can't really see, but just pray and hope we can chain gun through them. There's also a Revenant uh, behind you. Shooting you. Also, this one needs to die. I need to kill the Revenant so I can do a proper arch for jump here. I uh, didn't grab the chain on, uh, chainsaw, but I got the secret, so it's okay. Okay, silver gunners, get out of here. Collect this secret. Grab the arm bonuses. There's also some health bonuses over here that I need to grab. I'm gonna go for another secret, the final secret. This one is gonna help us telefrag all the sniping revenants, so... Let's go for it. Telefrag, telefrag. Telefrag and quickly move on. The final sp final stretch. We gotta go back to the beginning now. Just hold down the mouse button with plasma. Like I said in that nine, plasma is your uh, best friend. Uh, missing items though. Okay. There's a large cell pack underneath the Mancubus. I need to grab that. Okay. I'm doing fine. Open the door. There's a big group of demons there. Just fire rockets into that. And there's the blue key. Oh, I was a bit too fast. Okay. That opens up the exit. We got all the kills. Uh, I mean, all the secrets and all the items. One final boss left. This pain elemental can screw you over. But uh, we're good. Oh, would you look at that? I made that map. Oh, ho, ho. yep, that was my first proper non me map. I mean, I made some maps for Poogers. Um, well, I made two maps for Poogers, but those are very gimmicky and. I wouldn't call them proper maps, they're just a bit shit posty, but this one is. My first real map that I made, like proper vanilla, well, not vanilla, limit removing, comp level 2, no weird gimmicks. Unless you want to call Nightmare Difficulty a gimmick, but um, no, I'm really proud of this one. And uh, it worked out really well. Initially it used also my MIDI, but as an episode finale it didn't really fit, so we kind of switched around some MIDIs. And this one, uh, made by Peter, is incredible on its own, so yeah, I'm really happy with this one. And I really hope you guys enjoy this map and uh, find it challenging but we're not done yet there's still the credits map and um, also this text screen i'm not gonna read it you can read it yourself i'll just be uh, i'll be quiet Okay, yeah, I bet you didn't think uh, 
you'd ever see that in one of my videos? Well, you just did. So yeah, here's the credits map. With a very, very, very cool MIDI. Um, some of you probably know what the song is. Fortnite Battle Pass! Anyway, credits. We've got uh, Xogonoth. Benji, who also made the credits map, by the way. Very good looking. Anarchy, the fire blue uh, god. Christopher plays Doom Cute expert. Dwarves, the epic Doom tuber. Boo the judge. We've got Borok with uh, his cute kitty. Also, epic Doom tuber. And uh, yeah, well. Uh, there's there's uh, the pumpkin man. Deshi, the artist that made all the graphics for the title screen and um, well me and Borok and stuff. And also Peter on his uh, pretend to dance machine. So yeah, that's the credits. But um, like I said, there's still map 33, so I'll see you there. Oh boy, here we have map 33. This is the most gimmicky of them all. Possibly the most gimmicky map of any Doom map ever. I don't think I've ever seen a concept around this mechanic. Um, you'll see in a moment what it is exactly, but I'm just gonna say that this map does not have a proper exit. Because this switch does nothing. These bars will never open up. There's the exit. And the map pretty much tells you to go, um, well, screw yourself. What did they mean by that? Well, let's just um, keep killing these shotgunners, shall we? For a very long time. Like, eight minutes long. And let's see what happens. Maybe something fun will happen. So yeah, this is not going to be very exciting, it's just going to be me shooting shotgunners for like 8 minutes straight or something. So I'm going to use this opportunity to um, conclude this video and say that I want to thank everyone involved in this project for uh, making these amazing maps and also Peter for giving me the opportunity to release my first proper map I would say. I made two maps for Poogers, but... Um, they were very gimmicky and very shit posty. I wouldn't consider I won't consider them like real maps. But in this one, this was my first real proper released uh, limit removing map, and I'm really proud of it. It plays really well. It looks pretty good. I gotta say, I'm really bad at detailing maps and visuals and whatnot. I just have no creativity whatsoever. But it worked out this time, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Nerf. Um, I definitely enjoyed it a lot. Uh, like I said, I'm normally not a Nightmare player, so at first it was a bit intimidating because, you know, respawning enemies, um, zero reaction time, hit scanners and stuff like that, but it grows on you and I feel like I become uh, became a lot faster as well in terms of reflexes and also things like dodging projectiles and anticipating hit scan attacks and stuff like that. I'm really curious if I go back to regular Doom, like Haste or Italo Doom or even Submissions, that all the enemies will feel very very slow. Projectiles that move at half speed, uh, hit scanners that take their sweet time before attacking you, you know, stuff like that. So I was intimidated and I'm pretty sure most of you will also think, huh, Nightmare, isn't that a, a joke difficulty? I would say yes and no. If the map is built around the, uh, the Nightmare difficulty, it is really playable and it really makes your approach to Doom quite different. Because you cannot camp, because enemies respawn of course. Um, yeah, like I said, your reflexes are sharper. You 
You need to react faster to projectiles and enemies waking up and immediately attacking you, stuff like that. So I think this does make you a better player and just don't be discouraged by the stigma around neither difficulty. It is really playable. This map pack is this map pack is built for intermediate players in mind, so you, of course you don't have to go for all the secrets and items like I did. Um, it's a nice extra challenge, but the idea is to just have fun as well, so play with saves if needed, it's no problem, you can enjoy the experience in either way. Um, if you're planning to play this, I'd love to hear your thoughts, how you experienced this map pack, and what you thought of the visuals, the gameplay, the music, which by the way the music is available in the description, there's a bandcamp link to uh, Peter's songs. And well, mostly Peter's songs, I also made one, but it's uh, also available on Bandcamp. Um, so yeah, if you want to support Peter, you can buy the album there, or uh, you can also just listen for free, do whatever you want. Uh, just enjoy, and that's all that matters. And um, yeah, uh, I didn't explain it how this works, so if you've watched the analysis video about the all ghosts effect, um, if you haven't yet, I suggest you pause the video and go check it out. Oh yeah, this also opens up after 5 minutes. <laughs> Some nice cyber glutes. So if you haven't watched the uh, All Ghost analysis video yet, go check it out. It's gonna explain what how I'm doing here. But uh, basically, I am lining up a bunch of shotguns. Um, to trigger a internal overflow, or in this case, emulate an overflow because Pure Boom kind of fixes that bug. Um, I'm trying to line up like 147 shotguns and corpses and whatnot and line deaths. Uh, that's gonna freak out the game and it kind of breaks collision because you overwrite the memory that holds the collision data. So that's what I'm doing here. It takes about 8 minutes to do this so it didn't take too long anymore. But yeah, triggering the all ghosts effects makes you walk through walls and then at the exit there's a death exit damaging floor. Which is the only way to exit if your collision uh, is corrupted. So two minutes more and it should activate. But yeah, I'm gonna use this uh, opportunity while we wait to uh, conclude the video. Uh, like I said, I... I'd love to hear what you guys think of the map pack. Oh, it happens. Six minutes. That's a new record. So yeah, collision died. Let's get out of here. There we go. That's map 33. Very gimmicky. Uh, if you want this to work in pure boom, make sure to enable uh, this. Or else uh, it doesn't work. And that won't work in most modern source ports, so it's a very gimmicky map that only works on a select few uh, source ports. Like, I think Chocolate Doom works, um, well, Pure Boom emulates it. Crispy and Woof, I'm not sure if they emulate it. Um, I think they do, uh, but like, GC Doom doesn't at all, for good reasons, because this bug is stupid. But yeah, um, gimmicky map, not uh, needed for the nerf experience, or to enjoy the nerf experience. Just play the first 11 to 12 maps. And yeah, let me know what you thought about it, and what you thought of this video, and what you thought of this project altogether. And let me know if it changed your uh, Doom life. Um, it definitely changed mine. I really appreciate Nightmare Difficulty more. I may even start going for the classic what Nightmare runs, but uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, this was just a quick micro project. It's just gonna be one video, and that's it, until episodes 2 and 3 drop, which are not announced yet, but um, Peter is um, recruiting people from Doomworld to uh, make those maps, so somewhere in the future, episodes 2 and 3 will be a thing, who knows, and then maybe I'll uh, continue this series. But for now, I'm gonna call it quits quite late here. And uh, yeah, 
I'll go to sleep. And I'll resume haste and Italodum and the few submissions uh, soon, probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for those and see you next time.